here in the studio. So uh, I hope you had fun drawing out all your playgrounds. Now today we are going to start constructing them with different things you can find around your house. So the key to this is just using your imagination and seeing what an object could be besides its original purpose. Like a paper towel tube can become a tunnel to crawl through. Spaghetti be can become the legs to a swing set. Toothpicks, the rungs to a ladder. I, I don't wanna give you too many instructions, but I'm gonna show you some examples of ways that you can put objects together and lots of different objects that you can go find in your house to create the different parts of your playground. But I really want you guys to use your imagination and come up with ideas that I didn't think of, because I know you will. All right, let's get to the demonstration and talk about materials. All right, so today we're gonna need a lot of different things that you can find around your house. First, you might want a pair of scissors. You might want some tape. Um, I find this washi tape works really well, or some masking tape, painter's tape maybe. Okay. Um, you might want some Play-Doh. Okay, and then whatever you can find around your house. Um, pipe cleaners might be great. Paper straws or plastic straws. Um, this empty tape roll, plastic cups, uh, plastic forks or spoons, maybe some string, um, these mesh that are usually around, uh, like uh, this one is from cheese, but uh, also fruit and vegetable ones. Okay, that might be helpful. Uh, popsicle sticks. Toothpicks. Uh, skewers. Um, spaghetti, uncooked spaghetti, um, also small blocks could be good. Uh, I've got some more block examples here. Uh, even, you know, Legos or Duplos, and, you know, other various plastic things that aren't in use anymore. Make sure you check with mom and dad that you can use it. Uh, broken toys. This broken car tire that I thought I'd turn into a tire swing. Mm, other, you know, other toys that are not in use. Um, cardboard tubes, either from Paper towels or toilet paper. Let's see. Uh, cardboard pieces. Your parents could help you cut them. Found these plastic things. They might be handy. Another toy. Gather all these materials, and then clear your workspace, okay? And then you can start building different parts of your playground by combining them together. So I'm gonna give a few examples, but I really want you guys to play and figure out your own ideas. So I just happened to set this on top of this, and I think that would be an awesome 
uh, thing at the playground, I would definitely play with that. So I'm gonna keep that that way. So, um, the way you can think about the Play-Doh is a way to hold stuff up or hold it together. So I'm gonna make three balls of Play-Doh here. And then that can be used to hold my sticks up. use a ball at the top to hold them together. Okay, okay so I've got this like tripod structure. This is gonna be a little hard to see, but it's like this one I put it on its side. Now I'm going to take some string. I'm gonna make a tire swing with my broken car tire. Okay, so there's my tire swing in a way. one idea. Well, maybe with this we'll create like a seesaw. So I'm going to grab my tape. So you should be able to have all of these things go back to normal when you are done. So you should be able to take everything apart. some things that are climbable. So let's see. I'm gonna get my tape again. Okay, you can always use blocks to stabilize part of your playground. So that's another example. This could just be a tunnel that people crawl through on the playground. Okay, the mash. Um, let's see, let's take the spaghetti and kind of weave it in there. Let's get some support. Go. And then you know, try different things. And again, this is all about experimentation. Ms. Miner is just doing experiments. So think about, if this was my size, if I could blow this up to my size, would it be fun to play on? I'm gonna use blocks to build a slide. That's what it looks like from the side. So you can do stuff like that. Oh, there's so many different things that you can use. So gather up your materials and start experimenting. Here I'm taking toothpicks, sticking them in a piece of cardboard.
There, now I have a ladder that I can use for something. Mm -hmm. So, so many possibilities. Um, experiment, experiment, experiment. All right, boys and girls. So I showed you a ton of different materials that you can find around your house. And you're not limited to that, but please make sure you check with your parents before you take something, okay? Make sure that you are allowed to use it. Uh, next up, uh, I had fun making my little creations. I hope you have a ton of fun. You know, once you've made a bunch of different things, you can lay them out in a playground on the floor. And I wanna see a ton of pictures. Send me some pictures in Dojo because I'm sure these are gonna be super, super awesome. All right, so have a ton of fun. Create those uh, different different types of playground equipment, swings and slides and ladders and tunnels, just anything you can imagine. I cannot wait to see it. I'm sure you guys are gonna have an awesome time doing it and think of things that I didn't even think of, okay? All right, I will talk to you again soon. Can't wait to see these guys.